K Street. It's the address for Washington's highest powered lobbyists, the people who get very well paid to make sure government decisions go the way their clients want. Between I and K Streets, there is no J Street, at least not on the map. J Street does exist, though. It's the name of Washington's newest lobbying group, an attempt to create something the U.S. Capitol has never seen before. For years, pro-Israel groups willing to challenge hardline Israeli government policies have struggled to be heard in Washington. Now with J Street, they want to increase their influence with money, directly financing political candidates. No other such pro-Israel peace group has tried that. For too long, these have been the loudest voices in American politics when it comes to Israel and the Middle East. They say theirs is the only way to be pro-Israel. They attack those who do not conform to their views. But do they speak for you? Together, we can change this. Things like freezing settlement construction and uprooting outposts. And Ori Nier works for one of J Street's allies who advocate territorial compromise leading to a Palestinian state. The case is not that whatever is good for Israel is bad, and is, is, is bad for the Arabs and vice versa, but that there is a great deal of common denominator between Israelis and Palestinians, Arabs and Jews, on which true momentum towards peace can be, can be forged. J Street's friends say Jewish American public opinion is on their side. In a poll they took last year, 72% of American Jews supported a negotiated agreement creating an independent Palestinian state side by side with Israel. And 62% said Israel should freeze the building of settlements in the West Bank because they undermine peace efforts. But attitudes have hardened since Hamas began its cross-border shelling after Israel removed its settlers from the Gaza Strip. The perception is that here Israel did something that the left has uh, advocated for many years and in return what it gets is um, violence as usual. So yes, it's very difficult to, to deal with that. It's a setback for us. J Street has no expectation of approaching the financial and political heft of AIPAC, the biggest pro-Israel group which gives unquestioning support to Israeli policies. It represents the consensus in the Jewish community and the other groups maybe represent the sidelines. So AIPAC, I think, doesn't feel threatened. But with a new president due soon in the White House and the hope of more favorable political wins in the Middle East, this new lobby plans to seize an opportunity and build its political muscles. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.